It's exactly nine minutes past nine o'clock on the first day of July 2022, right here on Western Uganda's biggest radio station, 91.2 Cruise FM, great music, great friends. We are right on the hill of Boma and uh, Plot 12 Mutilene is where we are and we are online and on air on www.cruisefm.com forward slash stream and on Cruise TV is where you will be able to catch uh, the television, if at all you call it that way. My name is Wesi Gebanyaji. Good morning. I welcome every other person that is locked in this morning. We're going to be cruising all the way up to 11 a.m. There's a couple of things to talk about, but most importantly is to give you the recap of what made headlines this week before we get into our topic of discussion. Now, in a very weird turn of events, the Church of Uganda House of Bishops nullified the one uh, Reverend Canon uh, Godfrey Kasana of, uh, to, would have been the fourth Bishop of Luero. And uh, it was because a red flag was uh, flagged up because some people thought the integrity of uh, the, the Reverend was, was, you know, in doubt, so he could not take up that slot. So the process is back, and uh, we think that they'll be able to appoint a new bishop. Now, the Inspectorate of Government uh, cleared all accounts against the embattled NSSF uh, Managing Director, Richard Biargaba, except one where she orders him and the finance manager to refund 4.4 billion shillings. Former IGP General Kari Kaihura has been exonerated of all charges, and uh, we've seen what has been happening with Kihura and uh, MK projects. So perhaps that will be able to inform why the decision was made. Now, President Museveni passed out 9,000 soldiers in uh, Kaweweta in Akaseke. We congratulate the soldiers. Majority of them actually were very educated people with degrees and masters, so we believe that the UPDF get, is getting better each year. And uh, Parliament passed a couple of bills, including the new foreign exchange, Forex Exchange Amendment Bill 2023. And this will require, for any person that plans to open up a Forex Bureau, you'll be required to have a minimum of 200 million shillings. So it has been, uh, the threshold has been 50 million shillings. It's now been elevated 200 million shillings. And also an income tax amendment bill. Uh, that clears Islamic banking products in Uganda. It's also on. So we uh, congratulate, especially the faithful of uh, the Muslim faithful on this particular product, because now they will be able to uh, have loans that are, have no interest, and it will be for the benefit of definitely the the those that will be able to buy this product. Then the deputy speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taebwa, has called on for the creation of two permanent seats. For the Africa, for Africa, the United Nations Security Council. This he was speaking at the 63rd Organization of the African, Caribbean, and Pacific States uh, European uh, Union Joint Parliamentary Assembly that was held on Monday, the 26th, in Brussels, Belgium. And then uh, hundreds of uh, Uganda police officers were promoted this week to various ranks and were out to respect subordinates and work hard. And we congratulate all the police officers that made it with the new PIPs. Uh, we have and my good friend uh, who has been uh, promoted to, and so many other people that have been promoted, we congratulate you. On the international scene, uh, the international media was flooded by reports of a brief mutiny against Russian military command, as most observers consider this to be the biggest threat to President Putin by the Wagner Group, uh, led by Yevgeny. Progozivin, whatever the names are, it's difficult, that Russian name, who is now sought uh, refuge in Brussels, I, I mean uh, in uh, Belarus there. And I want to welcome you so much. I thank uh, my colleague Koi Koi who hosted last Saturday when I was uh, out of here, but I'm excited the big city is back and we are even better because I've put the questions on our topic of discussion on Twitter. So go to Twitter, 912. Cruise FM Twitter, you'll be able to give us that feedback. And then on Facebook, the question is on there on our topic of discussion. Later on to join the conversation, you'll be able to call me on 752-912-912 and 780-912-910. The team is already in the building. Let me welcome them and uh, give them an opportunity to tell us how their week was before we get into it. Bruce Owakunda is a political analyst. Uh, Simwe Banjusi is a member of the National Resistance Movement. Uh, Sifa Safi, regular panelist on the big seat. And uh, we have the vice president, the deputy president, Western Uganda National Unity Platform, Mrs. Jody Mucha is with us in studio. Bruce, good morning and welcome to the big set. Good morning, Wesley, and good morning to the listeners. It's a big pleasure to be back on the big seat. 
I should also tell them you're wearing a national jazz. So the season is almost back. <laughs> How was your week? The week was uh, amazing. Mm. It was eventful, but for me, the biggest highlight was uh, the NSSF report. Mm. It was released by the office of the IGG. And also the resumption of parliament it has been in recess. So let's wait and see how it goes. All right. And good to see Sifa again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Asima Bandisi, and uh, say hello to the listeners. Good morning, Banyaji. Our dear listeners, uh, Mikey take, takes this week. Uh, Banyaji, it's, it's been a tough semester, but finally we are able to get done with our exams yesterday. Mm. Pora and Pora, we shall get done with this carol course. Our parliament... Yeah, it's good they are back. They are passing bills on uh, a record rate. But you as a businessman, when you hear now trading in Forex, you'll need a minimum capital of 200 million shillings. How many Ugandans can be able to afford that? That's what I was coming to, Vanyaji. They are trying to, to shut out the rest that are upcoming, which is bad. Because as an economy, we greatly depend on SMEs. And how many Ugandans right now can raise that much? When you factor in other costs of rent, furnishing the place, it's even more than that. To me, I think it's a little bit high. And even these guys who have been operating forex bureaus, they've not offended anyone. <coughs> so mean mom, it doesn't matter whoever has above 50 or 100, they should let them operate. The question would be, if they think their capital is small, it does not affect these politicians. It, it will affect the businessman himself, and he will be compelled to raise his capital. Some of these things are uncalled for. We have other bigger pressing issues when you look like at the budget. The money they appropriate in parliament is never released to these districts or to the different government ministries, departments, agencies. So those are some of the pertinent issues that they should be addressing. Health, education, infrastructure, the crisis, very many different things. And uh, deployment in our schools, because we have close to 5,000 teachers that were interviewed. They passed the interviews. They've never been deployed. And guess what? Money medical interns. Mm. So those are some of the key things they should be addressing other than uh, here, Forex Bureau's do is what? But they need the bills. They need a lot to regulate literally every sector. So it's no, but it's we, within their we, limits. We've been having the laws. We've mm. been having these laws of energy. How, how comes we've been operating? Haven't you been exchanging your money? Yes, I have. In but illegally. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> We have fully fledged registered forex bureaus. Are they operating above uh, 50 million shillings anyway? Does it matter as long as you get your money? All right, thank you. Welcome, uh, Bani Asimwe Bandizi there. Uh, good morning, Sifa Safi. The Islamic banking, it's now passed. And that we know right. now Muslims can be able to get int loans without interest. I don't know how it works. <laughs> They've been crying about the regulatory framework. No, it's it's now... By, by their so so let, let's wait and see how it works. Good morning, Sif, and welcome to the big set. Good morning, Vanyaji, and thanks for having me. Good morning, our listeners and viewers. Good morning, my colleagues in studios. Yes, Mr. Bruce, I'm also happy to see you again. Uh, of course, I'll come to that banking bit of it, like you asked, but first of all, allow me to say the Mubarak still to my Muslim brothers and sisters in Allah. I hope you had the best. And I thank God that we are among those who are able to see the culmination of the Ija, that is performance of the pilgrim to Mecca. We are quite excited and very happy. But allow me also to congratulate the officers that were promoted. I think it's not without um, hard work. You worked for it, and I pray and ask uh, those uh, responsible people that even more, because we know people who have worked for it and they haven't come to it, but I know it's never too late. Though I believe, uh, the U Uganda Police Force should be able to promote the Kasa Asira. He has been ASP for the last that, years. That, is, been that, in that is your suggestion. I would also give another name. Bunny has another name. It's okay. <laughs> but I know people will get there. Yes. Then uh, the, the, the matters DNA, Banyaji, we talked about it. We have been talking about it. It's the talk of the town and mm. the county at large, but things are getting out of hand. You know, every other day someone comes out you know, out of the seven, nine children, I had the latest being one of the promoters here, of the Bivuru promoter. 
uh, he said they took nine children and out of them only one is uh, happened to be his own. So you see what is going to happen. <laughs> Much as Banyaji, <laughs> yes, yes, you might want to get out of it and you're like, these are not my children and you cool it off. Eh? Mm. But there is that man who would want revenge, you know, after putting in you know, a lot of money, time and all that. Mm. So things are good. What but like some people are suggesting yes. that children should be tested just the first day they are born. I, yes. I concur with that, Banyaji. Mm. Because yes. you have not put in a lot. No, 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 Otherwise, I'm so happy and when you, I want to also talk about the issue of self-medication. Mm. Doctors yeah. have come out to warn people of self-medication, especially for children, mm. for parents who use antibiotics. Uh, yeah, and they are saying that now they are, we are seeing a lot of resistant bacteria because of overuse of uh, antibiotics without, uh, you know, a uh, prescription from the, uh, the, 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 the doctors, doctors and whatever. So please, parents, let's not assume that we are all doctors. And one doctor actually said that you should be very careful of the internet doctors. Everyone comes out and writes something, posts, use this for that and the other. We should be very cautious because life has no spare. All right. Thank you. Uh, last but not least, uh, good morning, Madam Dore Mdisha, and how was your week? <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Wanyaji. Good morning, listeners, uh, my colleagues here, and all Ugandans out there. Um, it was quite a mouthful. Uh, I, I had a number of meetings, of course, and uh, one of the most disappointing encounters I had this week was having to go to travel public to, to go through Zimbabwe to Kampala. Mm. I have been, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, ono Baine has talked about infrastructure. You know, ever since Katonga broke down, government came up and promised Ugandans the, the normal empty promise. He said, we are giving two weeks and the bridge will be done. Of course, they went and worked on the side of the bridge that, are come, uh, that can accommodate their own vehicles and, of course, a few people who can manage private vehicles. But do you know, mm. I passed Katonga several times, but when I returned this time, I found when they have uh, totally abandoned the work, they are no longer there. I don't know if they have resumed, but what I found disturbing was the fact that in Uganda today, in this century, you know, we have just one road to this very important end of the country, mm. just one road. It should have you, been another detour. There should be another one. And there should be an alternative. Mm. If you go to our neighboring country here in Kenya, they have what we call inland flights. They they fly, mm. you know. But I, even I here know, in the West, you can fly. You to can fly. Here. But that's what costs at, but even, even, neighbor, even in the neighbors, when they have use you, money. Yes. They can use you money. fly, you, Mr. Banyaji? Oh, oh, can you fly? But does every Kenyan fly? I am saying, I am saying, if the facility was readily available, mm. I am not talking about chattering, uh, I, I don't know, whatever small plane there. I'm talking about regular, you know, daily flights for ordinary people. You know, you, you want to go to Kampala now that the bridge is not being worked on and you know what people were discussing as we came that they are now waiting for elections and now um, my good president will stand up and All say right. Mr. Mseveni I am going to give you a bridge you see the bridge broke Let's down for a I am going to give you a bridge <laughs> we'll be back. that was my take and I feel very angry it's with a, this country thank you so much and I want Our to welcome leaders. the whole panel this morning we're stopping for a breather when we come back into a topic of discussion good morning it's tough, it's bold, it's real politics. The Big Seat on 91.2 Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. All of today's hit music. All the hits, one, one station. This is 91.2 Cruise FM. West Western Uganda's biggest, biggest radio. Yeah. Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. <laughs> Star Times has introduced a fresh new bouquet of antenna decoder, Copper Bouquet. Copper Bouquet, your antenna for only 16K. <laughs> Subscribe to Copper for only 16,000 shillings monthly to enjoy a variety of premium entertainment. Este Novella E, Tsunami, PBO, MU TV, Nat Geo World, BBC, and many more all in one package. More premium channels at the most affordable subscription. Antenna Nova customers dial Star 185 hash or Star 165 hash to upgrade your bouquet to Copper. Star Times Copper, new bouquet, beautifully packaged. Weekly Sports Roundup. The Weekly Sports Roundup. Sports Roundup. Curry. 
Curry's three gives the Warriors the lead. 2-0 to PSG and a first in the blue of PSG for Lionel Messi. The Weekly Sports Roundup. Sports Roundup. The Weekly Sports Roundup show on Western Uganda's biggest radio station, 91.2 Cruise FM, every Saturday with Abu Champion and Derek Hashimwe. We cover everything sports, previews, reviews, tennis, Football, boxing, athletics, you name it, we've got you covered. Weekly Sports Roundup. The Weekly Sports Roundup. Sports Roundup. On 91.2 Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. Hello? Hello? It's time to turn it up. Turn it up! Say what? 91.2. 91.2. Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. It's bold. It's real politics. The Big Seat on 91.2 Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. Welcome back from that very short commercial break. It's 24 minutes past 9 o'clock here on Western Uganda's biggest radio station, 91.2 Cruiser FM. Great music, great friends. My name is Westy Givanyaji, and I say good morning. And we are on air and online on www.cruisefm.com forward slash stream and on all social media handles, 912 Cruise FM on Twitter, 91.2 Cruise FM on Facebook and Instagram. And for those that want to catch the visuals, we are on Cruise TV, TikTok, and YouTube got you that sorted cutters of creative digital media. I have with me uh, a team already of, of uh, panelists on, in studio. Uh, Madam, Mrs. Jodem Jisha, Deputy President, National Unity Platform, Western Uganda. Asimu Banjizi, member of uh, the Mhosi Project. Or uh, better identify you like that because there is one team of Tavako Main and uh, team chairman. I welcome you for today's show, and I have uh, the very own as Oakonda Bros, the political analyst, and not forgetting Sifa Safi, who is a panelist here with us every Saturday. Let me start with Oakonda. Matter of fact, uh, a report was made the director of public prosecutions, uh, Jen Francisco Abado, closed file. Uh, Cases against 17 officials implicated in the Iron Sheet scandal, leaving the fate to be decided by His Excellency the President. But you know, it's the President that initiated this whole process when he ordered a criminal investigations into the scandal. And noted that was uh, was on he was on standby to take any political actions as long as the the investigations are concluded. Now we are back to square one. The president is the, bad, uh, the DPP is saying, I have uh, done my investigations. It looks like there is nothing much I can add on. We now know the NSSF, the IGG was investigating on corruption of uh, either the board and the managing director of the fund. A report is out in exonerating uh, the MD, Richard Vyargaba, of so many accounts, but only one. Uh, of payments, and now it's been ordered to pay 4.4 billion with his counterpart, who was the finance manager. That conversation on on graft. We are back as a country. It will. I think sometimes when I send you these topics, and it's about graft, you wonder why you just cannot move on. It is because it as relevant as that. Bruce Wakonda, where you sit, how do you read of this? First of all, the first time the DPP says, "My hands are up." Let now the president take charge. There's nothing much I can do because those that were suspected to have, you know, been involved in misappropriating these resources were aligned before court, remanded, and now they are out on bail. She's still serving as the minister of Karamoja. She's, her deputy is still serving as the deputy minister for Karamoja. And Lugolubi is still deputy minister for finance. So what's the difference? What's different this time? If I said that I am shocked, I would be dishonest. Mm. When they said we wait for the investigations and, uh, and the report about these files, I was just waiting without expectations. We are even tired of coming here to discuss corruption, Wanyaji. Yes. Because we come here, we discuss, but we must accept. I accepted that my government has zero political will to tackle corruption. And I will say it time and again. Corruption has actually eaten deep into the fabric of our society. I told you it is in our DNA. It's in our 
it is our way of life both in the public and the private institutions by the way but fighting it is a co is a collective effort everyone should play their part for instance the active media mm. you are big stakeholders in this fight against corruption but but how how much how much do we go you can only make noise yes and we so blow yes. and leave the rest but but li at least now we know the nssf there is a report from the office of the igg saying we are gava we are not even uh, recommending that you are incarcerated in luzira what we are saying is that we fund this money uh, and do you see uh, we are discussing here last time the extent uh, of corruption almost 20% of our expenditure 20% of our budget is lost to corruption i told you the other saturday hmm. that we lose slightly more than a million per hour in this country that's more than 25 million per week and really with corruption it means there is no transparency and transparency is a cornerstone of functional democracies corruption stifles service delivery economic growth people's way of life development and we know all this and the people in charge know all this when you talk about corruption me i told you i look at it in twofold one as a moral issue two as a legal issue one as a moral issue it speaks to the pedigree of leaders we have they don't have integrity they lack uh, patriotism they have no spirit but of service but these are the people that you keep f f fronting every f after five years and you say i or akunda bruce I recommend to you you people of Uganda General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni to be the next president. Well knowing he has the political will to fight against something that has eaten <laughs> to the core of our country. Well that's it. This case of the Mabat of course the 17 files uh, closed. I listened to the DPP. She was saying she had three over three grounds of where culpability depended one is the circumstances under which Mabat were received. It was considered two. It was uh, refund in payment and kind. Three. It was uh, what they used the earn sheets for. Upon receiving them, but I told you from the start that they are going for the small fish in the pond. But the minister is a big fish. Let me tell you, there was Matia Kasaija. There was a speaker of parliament. There was a vice president. There was Prime Minister Robin Anabanja. Why do you want to go for Nandutu? because she is the deputy minister for Karamoja and she is directly why is she got 2000 iron sheets but what? in, in a, what uh, to, to, to clarify what Bruce is trying to put across when you look at government hierarchy and the people that were involved Karpebo she's a small fish compared to the speaker she's not the vice even a fish you, she's, <laughs> she's like a silver fish <laughs> yes Bruce I mean, as you conclude and, and, and I expected urgent and firm and proactive action from the president immediately then on the other fold it is it is a legal issue mm. i have said it time and again we this country is not short of robust legal and institutional frameworks to deal with corruption and by the way don't undermine these people these are very powerful people it was always bound to fail they are not going to be prosecuted now let's wait for the political uh, management the president said maybe the re reshuffle is coming but to, for instance these people sometimes i wonder you can imagine we are talking about the nssf mm. savers fund and this is the biggest uh, savers fund in east africa by the way over 17 trillion in, in assets mm. you can imagine if somebody wakes up and mismanages such a fund that that means we are we are we are we are in in, in real trouble but this is corruption there is no political will why don't we bruce as a country accept that you see for as long and and me that is my argument mm. if president museveni says but you people of uganda that are concerned about graft and corruption and you point out the people that steal and use this money they are using it to build hotels that employ your children don't scare them to take it to indonesia yes that, that's also a challenge on part of the president by the way this in, inaction and real and and complacence of the president is where the, the problem stems the president has the powers these are political appointees they have delegated powers of the president he can record them he can fire and hire them uh, at liberty mm. so for me and by the way when uh, he's supposed to give a strategic direction as a country He's in charge.
He's the president. He's the number one citizen in this country. He's supposed to put his feet down and say, the, moving forward, this is no longer acceptable. Because if a father is keeping quiet about well, how, that, how, 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 how should we deal with President Museveni, Bruce Wakonda? Because now we, we've diagnosed where the problem is. The, the, well, how, which kind of administration of medicine should we do to the president? No, that one I don't. Maybe you have only one avenue and you know it. Come 2026, <laughs> it's up to you. And, and you see, okay. see uh, I think it was point number seven in the 10 point program. Yes. But you can imagine since privatization, the corruption scandals that have been going on when M7 is presiding over this country. Okay, thank you. Madam Jody Mdisha, to you. Richard Biargava, <laughs> who is uh, the managing director of the NSSF, de facto, perhaps we could call him. He has been exonerated of so many accounts and only implicated for one and advised to return 4.4 billion shillings. This NSSF we've seen from the Chandi Jamas to, to Oneke or, 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 or Bell to the so many, there's been a lot of chaos at Workers' House. To even <laughs> the procurement and award of a bid to construct the Workers' House. That those two companies, sister companies, have always, it has never been settled in the courts of law. To now, what we've seen, it is all related to corruption. How far can we go as a country? When is it that we shall stop as a country and say, we've had enough of this nonsense? We are going to act about it. And now... Have, don't terrible so much. Yes. Even the blind in Uganda today, even the babies... Even, there was a caption I used to see that the baby was born and he said, who is ruling Uganda? And then they said, the, the nurse said, Mr. M7, and the baby was like, excuse me. I don't want to see the corruption that is uh, eating up this country. And mm. she went back in the stomach. <laughs> now, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we understand the analogy. That's how I bad mean, it is. I mean, like my colleague has just said, I think we are laboring for nothing. Because if you look at the history of this country since 1986, and even before, since the, Mr. M7, the time Mr. M7 developed an idea to come and rule this country, his journey has been premised on corruption, has been premised on stealing. It is built on that one. The cornerstone is corruption. There is nothing Ugandans can do about that unless, of course, they, they become so tired and become so angry and but turn these, around. These Ugandans that you, you are the ones Which that Ugandans are backing. Which Ugandans am I talking to about? These one are eating here, the Kasamba Budongos. But Kasamba Budongo is waiting for Shiri Njirukumi in, 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 in here at Kacheka Stadium to, you know, for them to vote for him. Because many times the Kasamba Budongos have made a demonstration that they are tired of Mr. Museveni and his group. But then people have changed results. You know that very well. We were reading here with Mr. Banya, uh, this one, uh, Mr. Baine. Mm. Who appoints the, the DPP? Isn't it Mr. Museveni? Although the uh, public service has its right hand. But who appoints the judiciary? It is Mr. Museveni. They are his people. He, he appoints them. He fires them. And I want to tell you that if anyone comes and is not corrupt, he appoints him by mistake and finds out that they are not corrupt, those ones he chases away. <laughs> because for him, in his blood, it is, the, it is the backbone of his system. He's wired on corruption. But if you even internally person, in the national unity no, no, platform, no, no, no. perhaps we can judge you from where you sit. Please, uh, 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 there have please. been allegations yes, have been of, of, of people that chair accountability committees in parliament I am not that are members to, of the national I am unity not, platform I am that have not been implicated of underhand uh, Mr. Banyan, operations. Please with, don't confuse the listeners. Yes. I am not going to go into the nitty gritty of who does what, what. I want to tell you that Why are you avoiding most of where those, you most, yes. of those, mm. most of those people you are talking about grew up, were born between 1986 and now. Now, if you are fed on cow milk, on goat milk, on camel milk, that's what you know. So, even when they are in NUP, because NUP is in, it was born here, it's part of Uganda, right? Mm. So, 
what we know in Uganda, these young people, all of them whom you know, what we know is corruption. We know that if you, you embezzle a lot of money, nobody is going to touch you. The, the justice system looks at chicken thieves. They look at uh, if you have taken a, a, a matoke from uh, Mr. Banji's his, his plantation, there they will run after you. But if you share your loot, you take a lot of it, then you, you, you are above the law. You are above the law, and because you are protected by the system, the, you are on the Father's will, just like we pray and say, may your will be done. So the will of the Father, who is Mr. M7 in this case, and his team, is stealing, is taking people's property, is, you know, milking this country. But, 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 is, but is Museven, Museven is, is not Richard we are Gaba. Yeah? Museven is not Richard Biargab of the NSSF. What exactly? Did, 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 did Museven you instruct know they Richard Biargab? Because <clears throat> I want to believe that. Do you know why they arrested Jamwa? And do you know this David Jamwa, the former mm. uh, managing director, managing director of NSSF, because he was not from the clan, because he did, probably didn't share. Otherwise, I mean, how can you exonerate all these people? Me, I don't want to dwell on Biargab alone. Look at the ministers. Look at the ministers, these ones. Among the, and among the, uh, 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 Well, Among is not from the clan, but you never know. Since some of these are it's all right. young people, they mm. may have been born during the Bush War when people were moving around. And you know men who go with their seeds and they go planting all over the place. So you never <laughs> know where some of these germinated from. Now, the point I want to make, Mr. Banyaji, is that we have reached a dead end. We have talked, we have shouted, radios have talked, social media, everyone, mm. including even the Katera Masinde, the people you are talking about. But what have we gained from that? If the head of state is saying, ah, 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 Banj, you heard it from him one time when he said, ah, 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 don't touch. When Beth Kamiya was trying, the, the IGG was trying to. To, 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 to raise to, issues to against raise the army. issues of how do you... Declaring you know, wealth in... The livelihood mm. program where you, they would see how much you get versus the lifestyle, lifestyle you have. Mm. He said, ah, 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 you leave my Vashuma. Leave them because now if you talk about them, they are going to take the money. What does that mean to an ordinary Ugandan? That the man knows who the Vashumas are, he knows the system that is being used, and he actually agrees with it All that right. it should continue because it sustains him. It, it is the core of his... Of his he, he's wired like that, you know? Oh, okay. It is very impossible for us now to undo what either God or the devil did. Let's come back and uh, Simo Banjis will be able to tell us whether President Museven and his people in the system are wired to benefit of corruption. After the breather. It's tough. It's bold. It's real politics. The Big Seat on 91.2. Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. Hit us up on www.cruisefm.com or connect to us on our Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram at 912 Cruise FM and join in on the discussion. Oh no, yes, sports wino. Oh, Muria Bikuru, you wait a go, Kumanya, Mumuzanyo, when Diva Bulisawa, one of radio, a single Kumanya Bimizanyo, 91.2 Cruise FM. Wadoshi manye ito msambia manye duanga Paulo, Pech Solido, ya tuendiwa klubu manye duangi ya Sox City na agena mklubu ya Birmingham City kumituala na. Binebiali uwa mwagalu kumenda chenda mwena uwa uleche unisai ya mtu nda mklubu ya Birmingham City, ya li girlfriend manye duanga Karen Brandy. Ebi serebe ya li managing director wa klubu ya Birmingham City. Ebi serebe ya mugu za klubu manye duangi ya Birmingham City, olomu tindo mubi, wabala waito mwezi gumu, atene bagati wa mwufumbo. <laughs> Oyo ye wino ku 91.2 Cruise FM Lindi di romulala Masawe dako My station My music <laughs> The radio station Other radio stations listen to Yeah 91.2 Cruise FM Great music Great friends It's tough It's bold It's real politics The Big Seat On 91.2 Cruise FM Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. It's bold and tough. It's real politics here on Western Uganda's biggest radio station. 91.2 Cruise FM. Great music. Great friends. Good morning. My name is Wesige Vanyaji. We are talking about graft, call it corruption, 
call it theft, call it whatever name that it could be, public resources are swindled in this republic literally every second to individuals that occupy all these positions in government. And the question is, who will stop the hemorrhage? Who will stop the bleeding of Ugandans losing money to personal aggrandizement? To discuss this and much more is uh, Madame Jolam Dusha, Vice President, National Unity Platform Western Uganda, Asim Webandizi. He belongs to the Mwhozi Kinergaba project. And uh, Bruce Owakunda is a political analyst, Sifa Safi is a regular big seater. Asim Webandizi, the people that you affiliate with have been going around the country in celebration of birthdays, and sometimes they've been open enough to say they are looking for votes and mobilizing for the person of General Mohosi in Gaba come 2026. The resources that you use in doing all this mobilization too is not very clear to Ugandans. We've never seen a public mobilization drive of resources for General Mohosi in Gaba. The onlookers say some of the money that we care about to be swindled in government is to simply fund the operations of Mohozi. Are you any innocent? After all, we know of people that have been implicated of corruption in this country that work in unison with chairman, Tim Mohozi project, whatever names they call it. Where do you got the audacity to even talk about those that are stealing our money, yet you're one of those that Ugandans presume to be enjoying the fruits of graft. Asim Mwebanjizi. Thank you so much, Mwebanjizi. And it's important to set the record straight. I pledged my allegiance and royalty to team chairman, MK Movement, one of the many groups that support the cause of General Mohoski in Erugawa. What is team chairman? You know, it's important to clarify things so that people can know. Let's not speculate or speak from an, a misinformed point of view. Team Chairman MK Movement is led by Chairman of Chairman Toyota Nwajira Michael Kaguta, a very successful businessman. In our structures, Vanyaji, we have several Ugandans who wish well this country, who said it's time to be in charge of our country. What do I mean? A time will come when it comes to biology and nature, you cannot cheat them. Irrespective of how good His Excellency Yoel Kagutam Seven has been to this country, we need to give credit where it's due. But what makes you very assured that the person that you think can succeed in biology and nature may not determine in his way first. But, Banyaji, you see... Let's eh? hope these people are not wishing the man bad luck. No, no, no. <laughs> Banyaji, you see, when the bit about, about uh, democracy... Yes. My Inro is, is here. Your mother. My mother Inro is here. Mm. The bit about it, it's a game. We go to the field, you bring your Messi, you bring your Saka, I will bring my Bruno Fernandes, and we wish the best team to win. Mm. So, we as team chairman, we are saying we shall support and front General Mozki in Erugaba. When time is ripe, and for your information... The, the, pre the president was praising General Mohozi for fighting corruption in the military. I was coming. But to at the Banyaji. same time, he said what is killing the army now is corruption. Banyaji. So which corruption did Mohozi in Erugaba fight in the military? Banyaji, you see, when you're treating a cancer... It's a process. And honestly speaking, when it comes to fighting corruption, it should cut across board. Even opposition, NRM, CGU, as long as you are a Ugandan. Bruce clarified it. We need the political will. We also need the will of the citizens. You also said it. These are Ugandans. Corruption goes deep to the extent even the LOC one chairperson deep down in the village who is supposed to be signing pe for people for free, if you don't give him money, for you, the for you the will take a week or two or three a month 
looking for this gentleman. Asimwe, for the and last for, for, for the last in the office of the <clears throat> prime minister, <clears throat> it's been the officials, the and the subordinates and and the kind of, uh, p- p- positions of of, of of the OPM that have been implicated in some so, of these swindles. So, but, but clearly now we see ministers. But, I think Ugandans should see the institution acting at least this time around. Uh, and the courts have been able to at least uh, uh, prosecute these individuals. When you do you see some of these things are sugar coated. That's why when we are talking about corruption, the other time the last time I was here and we had a similar topic, I almost shed tears. When you look at the resources we miss, some of the things that we lack, I always say it and some people after such talk shows and being objective, they call you, are you still NRM? Does being NRM mean we should lose our objectivity? Does being NRM mean where things are not okay, we should not say it? We must say it so that we up our game, so that people are held accountable. These guys who are swindling billions, trillions of money are paid well by the taxpayers' money. They literally have each and everything paid for by government. Where does the buck stop? Where does all so, this end? That's what I was coming to. Yes. A few weeks back, Lord Mayor Rukwago said, with Mwaz, we are seeing some slight improvement. Because this mm. gentleman, a, he said it, it's on record. <clears throat> <laughs> no, there are reasons that's why he said it. Yes. Can you imagine our local co- contractors? After all the allegations that he meets the, the no, no. uncle. Yes. Yes. Leave her on that. No, no. Yes. And I mean, you see, you people, when it comes to service delivery, we should not do politicking. Rukwago had grounds for saying those statements. One of them, are you aware that contractors and service providers in Kampala, the majority of them have been paid in foreign currency? We are in Uganda. You are a local contractor. Why should you be paid in dollars? Two, are you aware that all contractors in Uganda... But they buy, they no, buy no, no. all their products and services Listen, in Banyaji, dollars. Then you're weakening our Ugandan shilling. And after you complain... And, and then people are supposed to do oversight. You get it. Do that job. We'll still remain with their offices. No, but, hey. but you see, there is a bigger problem. That's why I had started with LOC1 so that I bring it to divisions, go to the district, up to the parliament. Mm. So when you're holding people accountable, even our parliament is sleeping... Because they are the ones, one of the key roles of parliament, oversight is among them. What have they done? But the accountability committees of them themselves are implicated. We have the public them accounts committee. Are and... them so, Banyaji, when it comes to okay. corruption, me, all I need, mm. all I need is us to adopt the Asian model. What does it say? They nab you theory, they sell off your assets, they put you in jail. This nonsense of saying you, you don't touch them, they will expatriate the, whatever, they, it does not work. In fact, let me go to see. If As I, I conclude, Banyaji, just yes. a minute. When you steal, it does not matter you are a thief. Whether you use the money to treat your sick child in the hospital, pay the medical bills for your father oh, or grand, you're still a thief. We need to teach Ugandans and develop a culture of working hard and getting money through clean ways. Uh, 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 Sifa Safi. There is what the, all of them have literally tried to ignore. They have diagnosed the problem as a society that backstops with his excellence, the president. But the question lingers, why don't those that implicate the president for inaction have the confidence to tell Ugandans, can you vote against this person and get him out of power? We have a person like Mujisha Monto, perhaps, who has not been culpable of any graft to be president. Perhaps things would be of change. Mm. <clears throat> thank you, Vanyaji, and thank you to my colleagues for their submissions. I want to begin by saying that uh, there is a proverb by the Nigerians, actually to be specific, the Igbo society. They say that rain doesn't recognize anybody. It, drench, it drenches all of us equally. So that's what happens to corruption, and that's exactly what it is with corruption. Banyaji, whether you like President Museveni, whether you like Mujisha Monto or Bobby Wine or whoever, corruption affects us equally. Of course, it won't be the same because we have economic, uh, uh, different economic status and whatever, but at the same time, we're all affected. For example, if there is a pothole there 
and it's because someone has stolen that money to fix it, then you never know who might be affected in that ac road accident or whatever. So what we are saying is we should all come out. And I, I said it here that I was so happy when people came out and spoke about the Iron Sheet saga. Maybe that's the reason why even it took this, these steps we saw, even if it has stopped where most of us do not want it to stop. But at least we all came out equally, in rhyme and whatever, and spoke against it. So what I'm saying, Manyaji, the thing is we are badly affected. You talked of Biarugaba being exonerated and they are saying he should recover the money. Yes. But how about the time that has been wasted? How about the service delivery that has been affected? Of course, you are going to arrest Mr. Bruce has stolen these billions of shillings and bring the money back and he's still in office. It doesn't make sense. We've seen a lot of this happen. Cows, town clerks and whatever. Someone steals money, doesn't even, they don't recover it and he's still the same person in office. So, but you know, but and people it are getting bitter system. by the way. And we should know that when these things keep happening and nothing is being done, so about to that's why sometimes we see actions, people, someone does something and you're like, what is happening? But he thinks that because he has gone to Mbarra University or refer hospital and there is no medicine, it's because someone has stolen the money, even when it's not the case. And these people are right. We all have shares. We, are, we all should share the cakes, I mean the cake of this country. I might not benefit directly by getting money, but at least by proxy, someone should be able to also benefit. We know people have stolen money for medicine somewhere. And what happens, the next thing is it has been transferred from maybe NDA or um, uh, these are uh, the medical stores, N N N yes, NMS, yes. National Medical NMS, Stores yes. or whatever, and has been now taken as a spokesperson somewhere, or he's this and that somewhere. So it becomes drama in this country. I'm happy, much as people are saying that President Museveni is at the top of it and he's not doing anything. But I want to tell you, Banyaji, that even if you're very good as a parent, if your children are the ones stealing cows here, the ones beating people on the road and whatever, people will see it generally that that family is fake. So I think it's high time the president came out with a different approach to this matter. We have the anti-corruption uh, unit, for example, in the state house or whatever, and they have come to something because I know, as far as I know, some money has been recovered by this unit. We have uh, the ABC, we have the um, IGG's office, and of course, Madame Betty Kami has done something. The other day, she was talking about uh, money being stolen, and people have to go abroad for medication and whatever, and maybe people thought she was bragging and whatever, but she was right. She cannot fail to get money to treat her. But what she was saying, why can't these people report such cases of theft of medicine, drugs, and whatever? So, Banyaji, what we are saying is, for example, the Mabati saga, people are wondering. But me, I saw this coming. Of course, already these people, Mr. Honorable Gorobi, Nan, Honorable Nandutu, and Honorable uh, Mary Gorit Chitutu, Chitutu are the very people we saw moving up and about from courts of law, from whatever. And so we knew these were the people. That, that was the center of the whole saga. So I'm not even uh, um, shocked and... Uh, it doesn't uh, and, that. and I think Amos would never have been implicated if at all he hadn't used the iron sheets to do really personal stuff. That's what I think. So Otherwise, most of them got, but because for him, the act was so visible for all Ugandans to see, this man used the Karamajong iron sheets to roof his animal shed, so it was very easy to identify. But but which is that he's a member of parliament but and he was doing it on behalf of the people, minute. right? His constituents. Roofing his own house. Yes. Hey, as a model mm. for the constituents. It comes back to one thing. I will say this again and again. Let's condone whatever is wrong. It does not matter once you've stolen, you've stolen, you're a thief. Okay. You should be capable and pay the oh. price for being a thief. Whether you use the, the stolen money to donate okay. to, to churches or mosques, you are a thief. All right. So, but Sifa, Sifa, to, co to conclude, really. Uh, uh, for that, mm. let me first conclude on, uh, on what Mr. Ban was saying. Exactly. Yes. Mm. If you steal someone's money here for education and you go and, and, and use the money for paying school fees for another, that is theft. You've stolen, you're a thief. So these things of twisting, I mean, this one stole this, these iron sheets for Karamoja and went and used it for roofing a, 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 a um, health center somewhere. We are tired. But one okay. thing I know, we might not go into the techn legal technicalities because we are not lawyers and whatever. He's, she's saying that she has stopped there and the uh, files have been closed, so it is in the hands of the president to do whatever we do. People are asking themselves, if you're saying that this person admitted to having these iron sheets, how they received those iron sheets, we don't want to know, Banyaji. And what they did with them, we don't want to know. But the thing is, what were people expecting? Did we even achieve half of what All people right. were expecting? Of course, we let, might not let, let's, the... let's talk for a break. When we come back, I'll give you a safe opportunity to conclude. Right. And we shall be able to open the lines on 752 and 912 The big set. It's tough. It's bold. It's real politics. The big seat on 91.2. Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends.
Turn it up. Yeah. yeah. 91.2. Cru- Cruise FM. Great music, great friends. Sampodat. I'm going to go and enjoy DJ Kapale. I'm going to go with DJ Mubugen. Buy two hats in your car. MTA. In two cups of manua. Oku kweta gisiwa. Kweka hidare rindi. Sampodat. Hats in your car. DJ Hamikoro Yona in the Uganda. Kweranga. Hamikoro ya office. Amazarwa. Aba kuanga na. Aba tuwa irenda. Aba kushopinga. Iwe tonge simu ya worole. No one has ever had go. Talk on bona. No one has ever Kukole emili mkurungi, kuenda kusindikamu. Hituwa ntukusindika, kukole chikukiraho. Tulihamu, musa heke kutulema. MTN. MTN, nilorero wa Uganda Communications Commission. Mwisha anjo hari kumyo muri itwe, tufeyure sente nyingi, okurabo mbazugu, ninga, haba kwetaba feri. Sente zikabe ni zutuyamba, okushashura renti, kutanika ho biznesi, kushashura school fees, ninga kusinja hoba amama, umjaro. Bastede, kando yekume, oruko semiringeji, okusindika sente zawe. Pini yawe jekume renki wa muntu, otaka ajigaba na no muntu wena. Ama sima goshe merekuwa no receiving, ninga no okwata, nago kurugomu customer care, ahiwa aluja Seat on 91.2 Cruise FM. Great music, great music, great friends, great friends. We are back. It's just two minutes past 10 o'clock here in Western Uganda's biggest radio station, 91.2 Cruise FM. Great music, great friends. My name is Wesi Gibanyaji, and I say good morning to all the listeners out there. I'm sure that uh, the people that are listening online, you're catching the show on cruisefm.com for a slash stream. And for those that like to watch the picture, the visual, is on Cruise TV. All that is courtesy of Creative Digital Media. 
And uh, I have uh, already a couple of you here. As um, Weber Sir Rogers, I see you. And uh, Amanya Alan, you're watching from Surveyor Cell. Uh, Roland Namanya is watching too. And uh, I have uh, Fred Schofield, you're watching from Barra Comprehensive College. I have uh, Mwehenda Patrick, who is uh, watching the show from Kamwe Entry. Um, my best of Rogers, you're telling us Happy New Month, and you're watching uh, from Katete City City College there. Uh, and a couple of you, I'll be able to get so many of you that I won't dare. And Om who is in Mwizi, uh, on the lifeline of the show, the telephone calls, 752-912-912 and 780-912-910. The people that catch the show every Saturday, you make it a point you're very valuable to us, and we want to keep doing good for you. I know people in uh, Zimbabwe that watch, uh, listen and watch the show. In Barada here, in the different divisions, you catch the show, Yantonde, in Intungamo, in Soro, in Kabare, all these places as far as Fort Porto. We appreciate you very much, and we are honored. Call up, and let's uh, add your voice on the conversation. On 752-912-912 and 780-912-910. Yes, Sifa. Um, I was concluding with this point. Too, I was telling you that the most important thing for me is we shouldn't narrow this thing down. Mm. It's cheap politics and whatever. Because I saw the Lord Mayor uh, Elias Rukwago saying that all he wanted was to see the um, Honorable uh, Speaker of Parliament, uh, the Prime Minister and others like Matia Kasaija and others. All he wanted was to see them test what it feels like to secure bail and go through that process. It's not about that. It's about discipline, accountability to us as Ugandans, as taxpayers. It's about morals. It's about giving Ugandans a sense of belonging to this country. So for me, whether you secure bail, whether you are taken there or not, it's about these people did not please us as Ugandans and people bitter, like I said. But what I'm saying is, you know, we can never be the same and equal. For example, in these studios, if someone came out with a million and gave it to each of us... See, see if Museveni is, is to take Uganda seriously and respect the mandate that was offered to him mm. in January of 2021, mm. why wouldn't he advise his political appointees to simply step aside? Yeah, that's what I was coming to. Why? So, I'm saying Even the you, basics failed. Uh, Banyaja was saying that we can never be equal, but let nobody steal what belongs to another. We know those people already are well off. And we have a lot of people suffering in this country. So whether they think Mabati is something small and cheap, why didn't they buy those Mabatis with their own money? What I request the president to do, or what my view would be is, we have a lot of competent Ugandans, like I've always said here, Banyaji. If someone steals, is implicated, there are thorough investigations, they are pinned why down and they are guilty, cycle? let these people step down and step aside. I'm not specifically talking about the Anshit saga, but all these other corruption scandals. But, but now we can, we can borrow from an institution mm. that simply recommended Richard Biagaba should not be prosecuted any further, mm. but advised to refund the money of 4.4 billion. 4.4 billion mm. is <laughs> huge a hell of money mm. For so many health center threes and fours in different districts, yes, it can do a lot of magic. Yes, it is. So for me, it would mm. be recover that money and send the... I don't want to use the whatever that word. <laughs> and, and send them the hell out of the system. Let them go. Like I'm saying, uh, like I said uh, before, we have a lot of competent people. And the problem is people who have the will and the zeal to fight corruption just fight from the tail end of the, of the, of the whole system. I, I, so I, that's I, a problem. We, we, the, the last you, we saw in Uganda in the very past, we saw on the oil in the he, engineer Hillary, the, the minister of disaster, mm -hmm. Amama Mbabazi, and the rest, Sam Kutesa. Mm -hmm. Where did it go? The papers were laid in parliament. A lot of noise was made. And it just disappeared. Mm -hmm. We saw Kamcha and and Muhozi of Rujumbra, the Minister of Security. Jim yes, Mwazi. and Kavoyo. Mm -hmm. We know that it's only under Mike Mokula. It's over Gavi Fan. Now Kavoyo and Kavoyo and These are and new Jim ministers yeah. now. are back into cabinet. Mm -hmm. By the way, that's what breeds arrogance in this country. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. They are president. Why are you so who does that? that one? Are still? Why are you because pointing your guns to the wrong target? This is now the person who appoints and dismisses is the one who should be shot because he continues to do it, disrespecting Ugandans. 
you know it is this corruption is not out of i think i, I think that's where the, that, that that's where the conversation so, gets diluted yeah, yeah. when madam jory says problem, the problem decide, is president Museven and sifa says mm. is president Museven the one that is running committee committees of parliament that are supposed to hold them up ministers. but at least we should begin somewhere so and we if, are if, saying, if why don't we if this very people? ugly animal mm. is is feeding everyone mm. let's allow us ugandans mm. and be complacent about it and we all feed from how, how do you start running no, after cabs when the father no, ryan is no. there in the den I mean, it is the ryan Banyaji, yes just a minute and you wait for you the, people the, the ryan to be killed uganda let me clarify something small yes make no mistake about it uganda is not a failed state and it's not about to it's not yes we have systems that have failed ugandans yeah and that's the reason as to why the parliament should not be exonerated Let's stop with this. But but but, but, but let, let, let me ask. Uh, no, 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 I stand with Parliament on this one. No, but Parliament has been able to come up with different reports, accountability reports. How fast the executive acted on this report? No, let me ask from you. From all the way from no, Nandala Mafabi. Just a minute, Bruce. Let me ask you this. Yes. When it comes to sagas like this Mabat saga, several MPs of them were implicated. What have they done about it? And that's the reason as to why we as team chairman the MK movement are saying we think we have a better alternative that will address this. That is the most in our government. You can rough or no imagine from we have the will. <laughs> we have the will mm. and as i conclude banyaji yeah. yes when it comes to corruption related scandals mm. as ugandans that wish were well this country yes that want to secure the future of our offspring we must fight it from roc1 up to the top okay bruce and, and you see i told you that's what breeds arrogance and impunity in this country corruption in this country is not out of say negligence mm. or poor oversight sometimes This is elite corruption. People know what they are doing. You're talking of parliament. Let me declare my biases here. I hate parliament. And I think it is That's even right. a burden to this country. Mm. Some of these committees you're talking about, the recommendations, for instance, this uh, select committee, the Munepaka committee, mm. the reports and recommendations, they are just advisory and non-binding. They just recommend. But they have no powers to say, do this, do this, do this. But they are not the DPP. That's what they are saying. And the DPP has said, so, I've perused these files, and it, they are not so making any sense to me. So what on those committees, when just recommendations are just no, recommendations, it is a lot of money. On 752-912-912-1780-912-910. So let's hear it from Ugandans. The big set. Yes, uh, that's my name. What's your name and where are you calling from? This is Junior Tagawa, this is from Sito Rwenta Town. Yes, yes, Murum Nawanje, Agaba, Odi Road. Yeah, I'm very, very, very wonderful. But I had Banjuzi yeah. before us. Mm. He has nothing to say other than what he has said. <laughs> 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 But what would he have said? <laughs> if he had... Yes. You know what I'm saying, Banjuzi? Amaka makunyana. Expert Wangu ziwa kwenda kuzaruhinda sentro yashikayo utakose bwo muringo ukiba berita wenye uganda tukavigera katike ukikonde wangu wangu zi akudire eh finale finale mm enke enke kokurwara yafa yobakere ribango na nenkoro ebyo bice kavire ndi defining ngente yena amahembe omutwe urigere bagira ngo bagizike bangi zi government ya yefire kina muteta kubasa kujiryaho yewe kuzika abakuzika yewe no gavunya no ndagaba very good thank you agaba for always being on point you've been a, a consistent contributor to the big seats and we want to appreciate you very much the big seat 
Yes, Banyaji. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, Dr. Eze. Kariba Mbi. Eh, Andrew, nana terrace chuzi vana. Hmm. Ati nye nangu gambile. Pati government ita hetu chuzi ho. Slash ni weko rovona. Ata kuwa saku njira angu minister oba MP wena ya saini njira mabati ngu wakagareva. Ha muhelo kanji langu wa muyahemi sangu. Na mwenye mtajirize na kani hona na mwitu wugu minister kasija. Mwaga sandini mwumbuga ino ukure mwana aristi na mwem kandi ngu waroho mwema bata gamani. Mwena hati saa hivile chikio. Teka isuritu teko mga government ya opposition ni. Tumanyanga nje kerize nje. Hmm. Kawa aguru kawo. Network ya ya kubela. On 752-912-912-1780-912-910. Please contribute to the topic of discussion. Something that we are discussing this morning is a matter of life and death for you Ugandans. Let us know. The big set. Hello, Mr. Wesley. Yes, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Wesley. Yes, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, Jordan, I'm calling from Shikara Mashema. Yes, Jordan. Um, I want to thank you, Mr. Wesley. Yes, please. I can hear you very clearly. Mm. On 752-912-912-1780-912-910. The big set. Yes, good morning. Thank you for your program. Thank you for calling in. Uh, this is uh, Andrew, you know, Mugisa from Ruvin, Kondesta. Mm. Uh, let, let, let me first take this thing to Rokamu. That brilliant woman. That brilliant woman. Jore Mugisa, Sifa Safi. Jore Mugisa, Jore Mugisa. Uh, Jore Mujisa, we love you. Yeah, Kasar, no, we love you. Uganda. Mm. Uh, but he, uh, at uh, that point, uh, at that point of the civil in the student, I think you need to take a kangu, see if it's a young, but it's a good kangu. One of us, Tuma, over we, over we, Vama, but no Zaga, Kosesa, a Chomgaso. Bona no rigum numbamu ya wasuma. Atinyoni nte kate kamwe. Bona na wasuma wogoka kuyi. Seto muka sowa. Tuba korechi. Abasuma haba tuba korechi. Abasuma tu ino kuwa. Of course abasuma no manjiwe. Elja ave teme kuwa mba koerwa. Kuwa tri tingangu kuchiku baska. Kari. Atinyoni nte kate kamwe. Tugami mente kozere chama. Nitiki tinga haba suma. Ok, buddy. The big seat. We just lost that call on 752-912-912-1780-912-910. On Facebook, Ivan Palvo, you're thanking us for the show. You're listening in from Uganda. And you're saying uh, to the topic, this is what I said last time. The small fish will already suffer in Uganda. Of course, we expect the president to also respect the IGG and the DPP ruling. I can't imagine this. I'm speechless. Tembo, uh, Joachim. You're listening in. Orisha uh, Bamasiel, you're saying President Museveni has always backed up corruption. Uh, I can see Amoras, you're in Kazu, and you're saying, according to me, I think she was ordered to do so. Because if she, it wasn't like that, she would have followed that saga to the end. Akandwanaho Fred, thank you. Bamwine Lawrence, you're listening in. And you're saying in Uganda, everything is just a show. Some people have become too big for us to handle as a country. Mrs. Abodo couldn't risk her life. Edson Cavani, uh, you're listening again from Ibanda, Kamigamba. And you're saying, I'm here asking myself, why did Museveni? Oh, wow. I, I say that. Bonnie Marcus, you're saying, uh, sometimes you ask yourself where our country is going. Someone is suspected of stealing a hen without evidence, but put out a lot of charges on him. And imagine those who are found stealing iron sheets. Montebi Michael Emanzi, you're, you're listening in for massacre. We thank you. Dembe Yowana, thank you so much from Chabu Jimbi for catching the show. 
Let me pick more of your calls on 752-912-912-1780-912-910. The big set. Hello, caller. Hello. Yes, please. What's your name? Yes, good morning. Good morning. This is Sadiq. Hmm. Naterana Arimi. Right. Okay. On 752-912-912-1780-912-910. So let's catch more of your feedback. Because we know, for us here, it's not very important to sit here and talk about the graft in the country. We want to hear from you. And the examples we want you to give us is that I went to this health center. There was no medicine. But a couple of times we see nurses and doctors running away and hiding medicine. We want you to tell us we saw a police officer on this scene and this happened. Report these because the more you report, something definitely gets to be done. We saw in Kampala. Did. Uh, at least there is a law on we saw law protection. So, so at least we can start from there. That nobody's get the real thieves. Oh, okay, Let, let's hear. Let's hear more of the feedback on seven five two nine one two nine one two and seven eight zero nine one two nine one zero. The big set. Yes, we Cruise FM. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. What's your name and where are you calling from? I'm called the Gilba two five six from Murkana, Jibamarwampara, like it is. Yes. I want first to thank people. Mm. For your good words and encouragement to others. Uh, on that point, no never was it. Hmm. I'm going to be able to do it. Oh, 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 Talking about the, this Uganda here, there was a time Bank of Uganda, Bajen Justin was Bajen Justin. Over chartered plane that had other things and money from Germany to Uganda, destined for other places. This has never stopped. But the conversation will not stop here. To the premises of Bank of Uganda <coughs> during a weekend and stealing documents. Mm. And she's scot free. She's enjoying her money. Cartoon to committee made noise. And it and did head anywhere. On. Let's stop up for a break when we come back. We shall get more of your feedback and the conversation here. Good morning. It's tough. It's bold. It's real politics. The Big Seat on 91.2. Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. 91.2. Cruise FM. Great music. Great friends. Big Seat 
on 91.2 Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. We are back. It's uh, 22 minutes past 10 o'clock. We are Western Uganda's biggest radio station, 91.2 Cruise FM. Great music. Great friends. My name is Westy Gebanyaji. We are talking about corruption. And we are wondering in the breather, we literally cited all the different cases since time immemorial in this country where people have been implicated, implicated of stealing public resources and nothing has seemed to be done. Just in the agenda, a video was shown of documents being siphoned out of Bank of Uganda on a weekend. Our <laughs> whole committee of parliament investigated this. Ugandans were excited. Where is Justin? And <laughs> How many rather? Oh, we we saw Canada. a one Godfrey Kazinda. At least we know he's behind bars. But like the caller Gaba said, if the money Kazinda stole was given to any of us, we would not have to work for the last time that Kazinda will be serving in incarceration. So it, it looks like it's so beneficial that a person to stand for integrity in this country is a loss in itself. Because when you stand by your virtues and say, I'm going to be accountable, I'm going to be honest. There was a time, Mrs. Mujisha, President Museveni said, I am going to only appoint Balokole, Alin Kajana, in URA, and, uh, 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 and, and uh, Atwine in, in health. And we saw. Atwine uh, uh, There's so many. In the church. So what are if you there is about? any place that has corruption, yes. it is in the church. It mm. begins, it mm. is actually born there. It and is, it is there. nursed there. It is nurtured from there. And it grows and graduates. You remember the, 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 the scandals and the, the mafias basis, that, that were cited in, during the building country. of the church house building. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Do you know how many years it took to build that church house? Do, do you know? Has, have you ever <laughs> attended the church service <laughs> where you have been given an accountability of the money which is collected every Sunday? In fact, you would rather bring have, 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 have you ever seen it? Yes. Yes. So That's what? Where they cherish, uh, it is in those places of worship. Uh, and and do you know? Yes. Do you know the most corrupt people pay a lot of money to the churches, yeah. and they are the ones who sit at the high table when a bishop speak. visits. They are the ones who, uh, the off their offerings are big and then they are respected. You see, human nature demands that one is respected, is recognized, is, you know, is given that, that clout. Now, if the church is doing that, it means it is supporting corruption and, and, and therefore everyone becomes corrupt. And that is the, the same thing that I always complain about this government. If this government came up, you know, if Mr. M7 walked the talk, if Mr. M7 really arrested one big person, not Nandutu, because who is Nandutu? Nandutu was here the yeah, other I day. The I mean, the if, do the if Aris, Kaboyo, Aris Kaboyo was here for the Gavi funds, isn't she a minister now? Jim was his minister, all these other people who steal big monies, and then they run around with Nandutu, who stole just 2,000 but, more. But, um, and, but, and, but, see, but, and see what Sister has always been saying this. Yeah. Do you mean there are no cadres? Mm. Or there are no other people in Uganda? Who can serve in cabinet and other positions? But the that you must is, give reasons is, that have been implicated you recycle before. thieves and but, but even, here, that, that, their backs. That does not... But, but you see... The military has what they call rehabilitation of officers you who have gone astray. When you lack. So if oh. I tell President Museveni thinks Jim Quiz has been rehabilitated for being out of cabinet Can for about 10 you? years, Banyaji. what stops him Banyaji. from appointing Jim Banyaji. again? Banyaji. Banyaji. Okay. Let me put the record straight. Actually, it's an insert to even yourself why are you at school. Mm. You have a first class degree in economics. Yes. You're back at school doing law. What's the instance of all this? Mm. We have almost 48 million Ugandans. And With then good you rehabilitated mm. one thief we and have turn him back professionals and across the board. Why do we have to recycle people that have been implicated not once, not twice? Why should we condone evil? Are we really lacking people to occupy those positions? Across the board, whether political appointees or public service, once you're implicated, step aside. I've been following what's happening in the UK. 
even some MPs who were supporting Boris Johnson in his Partygate saga during COVID, some of them have been pushed by their constituencies to resign from being MPs. Morally for them, they Morally, know it's, that wrong. it's wrong. And they you go. get it. So this I is what we are saying. Someone stole money for AIDS ba -ba patients, Banjisi, you people that, uh, and you keep on... Banjisi, let's take it to the basics. You guys, who, you what people, you, you people who seek places for your children in Tari, in Budo, in Namagunga, mm. when they have failed to get four or five, you're busy putting head teachers on the side and giving them envelopes. But if we Banyaji, knew that the head Banyaji. teachers were morally upright, Banyaji, yes. then would we pay? Would they pay? <laughs> if we knew that it was, <laughs> it, it was against like, them, uh, listen, no. if it, we, 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 of course we know there is a law, yes. but if we knew that that law would be implemented and it would get us, yes. would we pay the head teacher? No, we wouldn't. That's why I'm saying that the whole system... But we 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 that's, that's why we are not leaders, all of us. Yeah. That's why there is authority. If me, Bruce Wakunda, I'm corrupt and I take bribes, let's say I'm a police officer, the IGP or other people in charge, if they put their they feet apprehend down you if they and they apprehend me and start, uh, they apprehend my friend here, I will also not get involved. That's why I told you the impunity is because we know I'm going to take a bribe. And nothing, and nothing is, is going, going to, to happen. happen to me. But if laws were very effective and they were implemented to the dot, we would do all with, with, this, with this challenge. And to add, Banyaji, Banyaji. And to add on what Bruce so, is saying, Banyaji. So to say that because we pay, we pay if, bribes to head teachers, it is because we know we are going to receive those bribes. Not, if, if, but but, 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 but Banyaji, ofi officials have rejected bribes of individuals. No, was, and, and they Mr. get Banyaji, they, they get they get they get Mr. Banyaji, Mr. Mr. Uh, Banyaji, I was here during show. a means time. Yes, let's allow Jolly. I was here during a means time. There was this law that if someone, you know, stole, you know, the Islamic part of it, that if someone Sharia. stole the Sharia law, if someone stole, they would be punished there and they would actually be killed. Now, what Uganda is lacking is a chaze, and I'm saying it in Urinyanko, a chaze, a chanda of a leader. So, because these soft gloves, this nursing and nurturing of, of thieves is taking us back. I, I don't know how many kilometers right. we have gone back. Uh, uh, so, yes. I call upon Ugandans so, mm. to look for somebody who is not going... Who is this somebody? <laughs> 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 I am not saying that is a let's but that is the kind of, of what, overhaul we what need. What I was yes. saying mm. is, the instance of this talk show is to enlighten all Ugandans that fighting corruption, it's a monster and we must all take collective responsibility. Each one if you know your child has gotten the score to make it to Mbara High School. And unfairly, you've been denied that chance because we know these giant schools nowadays during admission, it's a money-making scheme. The kind of monies that people offer to these headmasters, you will not believe it. To the extent they reserve some specific position to sell out to. That's how bad things are. When you go to the referral hospital, the facilities are there, the buildings, everything, but are the services there. And we know the personnel is supposed to be there, but they are not there. We know medicine, it might not be sufficient enough, but even the little that is sent, is it given to our one inches? The other time, I was shocked to, to my bone marrow when I saw the PS. Dr. Diana Twin on the national television saying they are contemplating to remove public health services in this country. There are in issues. You no, know, they say they will al 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 gamet, uh, amalgamate some centers to form them into one for efficiency. B Banyaji, you see. But even. Uh, you know, the, the doctor. Uh, just just like the doctor. security. Some, someone who has eaten and is satisfied. That's the aroa of having, you know, like the way it was in France before the revolution. <laughs> if you cannot afford bread, eat cake. 
I was telling Bruce off air, currently in the private sector, if a woman gives birth from these good hospitals, you're looking at a bill of over two, three, four, five. Even if things go wrong and there is some immature birth, you even go to five, six, seven millions. How many Ugandans can afford that money? Irrespective of the inefficiencies there, the majority of Ugandans go there. Instead of her proposing and coming up with a comprehensive document showing what needs to be addressed and they walk the talk, you're thinking of, we remove it. Banyaji, Uganda, we need Muzei to hold the things with an iron fist. And that's the reason as to why he has so said, you watch has a chok gambe chanda, chiratere zi hange, ni general mhoz ki ne rugawa. So Banyaji, yes. you alluded to something very important. And you see where we are heading to now, we are even crying and calling for it. Has, by the way, that, that's the word in English for it. Chazoe chanda is... Uh, <laughs> so if we start calling and crying for Mazanibanda, you know we are heading to danger. But mm. we talked about something very important. Let's not focus on Mabati ministers. Those are those bigger, bigger positions. Are and ignore the small and ones. And ignore the, the, the small ones. And that's where exactly things start from. Because if you know that you're supposed to go and line up and, for example, get medicine somewhere, why do you come and pay someone some money to be the first one? Some people have been there since morning. Leave that alone. Who we have people it? bribing But if they have no money but and they have saying. some motivation, why not? It Exactly, that's what I'm saying. And that is why someone will tell you that... Let me it's take because, the, the not for your information, Sifa, you bribe because... The, exactly. you, 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 you know you are not going you are so, not going to get the service you are supposed to get. Exactly. Right? Let, let, me, so, let, let me ask. Mm. Let me ask. I'm not mm. looking at why If an official of government yes. is enticed with a bribe and they rejected it, what would happen? You would be denied the service. But Banyaji, let me conclude on what I was saying. No. We should look at these smaller, smaller things. We are it's talking of Mabati, ministers, honorable speaker, and whatever. But we know of cases, Banyaji, where people have gone to medics and bribed them to change their uh, HIV results status. You know, results, yes. You're negative and you want, you want someone to... You're positive and you want someone to say that you're negative. You're going to marry someone's daughter. Is there any bigger corruption than that? And it's, uh, actually, this is a matter of life and death. Leave alone the Mabati where someone steals and goes. Talk of government land. People are still in government land. Councillors, chairpersons what? at whatever levels. People are quiet. That is corruption. And you find this very, very person, chairperson who has stolen government land, is the same person crying. The DPP should have done this. We should see the, the honorable speaker behind the bars. You've forgotten that you have also stolen land. We've seen cases where people have stolen the 25% money that we have in these villages. So we are saying, mm. I don't condone what these people are doing. But we should fight corruption right from the grassroots. And we should not be blinded to only think that corruption is about ministers and MPs, even your chairman, LC1, even your councillor, even your religious leader. Let me give you another good example. It was Idil Abu Habanyaji, mm. and it's all about slaughtering. There are so many people who donate cows here, you know. Kongai inaba antu na wakati chigambe no muri yangu. Abe bembezibe mizgiti ba madini baba hirenta kusaba antu bunya mama abaga mwa bedi. In some cases, mwa <laughs> bedi. So it should be corruption on mama din, on mama culture, on mama ngando, on mama family in everything. Yes. Let's not just focus at the national level. There is a lot of corruption. Kwa here. You are. The way people give uh, award tenders to people, for example, collecting garbage there. We have a competent company. No, but, 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 talk about it. Barista. Exactly. You, you can imagine. And our I board, uh, board yes, is but when it comes to region, but, but it's been put on record. You've said it. Yes, it's very Konka. good that he has done that. that. So now, what kind of but, is but that? if we had and good right. leadership, mm. if we had good leadership, Mm. All that would be done away with. Otherwise, why do we have leaders? You know, now it's like there is no leadership. Everyone, you are right in saying that. Yes, Everyone is doing whatever they want. Yes. That means yes. that the leadership yes. is dead. So and I still point. continue that if the leadership was right, all that you are crying about would not be there. Mm. Right? Oh, okay. So, so we me, need good governance in this worse. country. When yeah. we, we put this, uh, uh, we contextualize this uh, corruption into tribes, culture, and whatever. Bani has just given a very good example. I know about that when it comes to religion. You think Muslims should not be awarded tenders. Why? That is corruption, but then again, it becomes worse because... But why would you people. personalize it to be Muslim? That's what I'm it's talking about. It, no, it, it should be it. merit. It should it, be blind. Exactly. They have always... Banyaji, let me say to the record straight. This why should we, uh, why shouldn't but, but, awarding tenders be blind? Banyaji, Banyaji, it, yes. I you also see, applied you for a tender one alone. One of the reasons I, I always tell you it. Yes, <laughs> that this is one of the best talk shows is because we you say the truth the way it is. 
it's quite a sad story. Previously, Muslims had tenders and contracts here, and they would deliver. But somehow, the, the state leadership, some of them, How do you really generalize think tenders? they were not supported by a certain group of people. people. Yes. They put a bracket punishment. Yes. The corruption we are talking about, some of them in state leadership have even these small things of correcting money from money. Okay, let's allow Bruce now. Bruce. Uh, now, t the extent to which corruption has reached, and these people are not empathetic. Kanchi gambe no mori nyankori. Nkarga kubuga no mkaza kana njira. Ngo marwa raga na basha shura no muntu. Wazara nko mga na umuru. Ngo bakomu. Yes. Let's say, let's Are you serious? Yes. What are you saying? Yeah? Yes. So yes. someone has a, a steel oh. bath, and they, give you they a switch, baby. they give the poor woman a dead the baby, baby, and, and they give baby. the other guy. Very much. And it is on record. Do you remember the, the I think it was the Murago incident. Mm. The, Let's allow Bruce. The Murago incident mm. where the woman sued the hospital. Mm. They had taken her baby. But you can imagine reaching to such an extent. Is that being is that being corrupt? But but for me now, Ugandans are known to be God fearing people and serious people. For me, West Gebanyaji, to be a husband of some lady who has delivered. And I am in sync with exactly what is happening. And I take someone's child to raise them as my own. The that, that's the extent to which we can go to get money. Yes. That's the extent to which we can go to get money. But we are just uh, passing Banyaji. through the corners and doing Banyaji. all this. Mm, that's allowable. The buck stops with the president. Period. If the president does not come, especially th these political appointees, they have delegated powers. Nobody should act. Ati, if a minister with all their privileges, with all their salaries, with all, with all the privileges they enjoy, if he can steal and go scot free, why not a chairman LC1? Because almost for me, I know it is it is standard. For me to access the services of the chairperson LC1, it is at a fee. I think it is every chairman. Is that it the case? Banyaji, you is, see, is there someone that is no, able to consume no, the chairperson's service no, without no, no. There any are pay? some chairpersons that I would even mention here. One of them is FD Samuel Our chairperson in Chianja, yeah. Mr. Agawa Katavarwa. He does not charge money. And the, no, no, listen. <laughs> Chogo here in the corner. Mm. So there are some decent ones. Mm. And that's why I'm saying whether they are paid or not. On a sad story, like the 25% CIFA was talking about, these guys, the LOC tools have not received that money and they used to use it to do some community service. Guess what? That that money was spent on buying a state grade or whatever. And money is allocated. Okay. So when we are talking about issues of corruption, we must face it the way the, the nani of equity. When mm. you're seeking... Equity, you must do equity. You must do equity. Let's talk for a break. The, when we come back, we shall be able to conclude on the topic of discussion. But also, I'll be able to catch their mind very slightly on what they think about DNS before we get out of here. Keep it locked on Western Uganda's biggest radio station. Chris mm -hmm. we are. After the break. It's tough. It's bold. It's real politics. The Big Seat on 91.2. Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. Oh, no, yes.
91.2, Cruise FM. Great music. Great music. Great friends. Great friends. We are back at about uh, 15 minutes to close up on Western Uganda's biggest radio station, 91.2 Cruise FM, great music, great friends. Thank you so much. Because I know those that are glued on their radio, because uh, the conversation has been exciting, I'm pretty sure that uh, what we've talked about this morning is a matter of every Ugandan to take very seriously. It looks like the battle against graft is for all of us to go at the front line and fight. Because however big, however small, however trivial, however negligible it is, it has an effect on service delivery and the livelihood of our people. We must take caution, all of us. And uh, the panel has been great. Uh, Sifa Safi, Jodem Mjisa, Asimo Banjuzi, Bruce Wakunda. And uh, the feedback on our social media has been very great for all those that are listening again. We appreciate you. And those that take an extra effort to call in, Thank you so much. On 752-912-912 and 780-912-910. Let me pick about two calls before we get our parting shot. On 752-912-912 and 780-912-910. Those are the two numbers that you can be able to call in. And we put your record on. Hello? Hello? We just lost that. We want to add your voice on the record this morning. Good morning. You're speaking very softly. What's your name and where you're calling from? Dixon, speak a little bit louder if at all you want me to hear you. I'm saying? Yes. Dixon from Ruvindi. Yes, Dixon in Ruvindi. For example, in Ghana, I think Okay. Unless we change governments, corruption is here to stay. On seven five two nine one two nine one two and seven eight zero nine one two nine one. So let me end with this caller. Good morning. Hello, caller. I think uh, that's enough for today. No, I may be just a lucky caller. Good morning. Yes, good morning. How are you? I'm okay. Mm. This is Kork, the pro from Bukhari Mm. But to this the corruption of Uganda, everyone is corrupt. So, no matter where, or, or where you go to RP1, or where you go to RP Center, everywhere there is corruption. So we don't know where to from on uh, on the road trucks. You go with the, you are you are Katerike, you pass through even if you are in the wrong way, in the wrong condition of your vehicle. Okay, thank you. So corruption it is just a matter of, re, of changing the whole system. Hmm. Otherwise, we are dying of corruption. Okay. Thank you for... All right. Uh, that's it for the feedback, but keep the conversation going on our social media platforms. Keep it engaging. Let's hear from you, and we know what you think about the matter. Let me hear your parting shot on uh, this particular aspect before we engage slightly as we get out of here in a second. Each one of you in a second, really. Bruce Wakunda, in a second. About corruption? Yes. About corruption, what can I say, Wesige? We've been here and we've said it all. We all understand what corruption does. We understand its dangers. And we have laws in this country, we have uh, frameworks on how to deal with it. What is uh, remaining is uh, for the people in charge, people charged with the, the responsibility to run this country, to be serious. They okay. shouldn't be reluctant on the issue because where we are headed effects of corruption we might feel them for the next even generations all right thank you uh, so actually somebody had a very radical measure mm. he said that maybe 
the floods that came during Noah's time should come and wash us and the new generation <laughs> comes the new people new people come right. in this country sometimes people propose that as Ugandans why don't we just migrate and leave this land <laughs> for other more serious people to take out Pansy Banjisi in a second thank you so much all the people that called in as we wind up Banyaji I pity the people who blame his excellence president you were you were kaguta seven for all the corruption scandals we have in this country this old, you don't blame it you listen, don't blame him at all listen we all need to take responsibility for this mess okay thank you do individual audits and let each and every person be held accountable and responsible okay. like one of the court has said we are all corrupt when you see a corrupt incident and you don't take the necessary action then you're also corrupt okay see for something thank you banyaji i want to thank the callers and those uh, who are with us all through first of all there is no silver bullet to fighting corruption banyaji and there is no single individual that can fight corruption therefore i want to tell the people that it's not president museven alone that can fight corruption like i said start from where you are with a small uh whatever that happened no, i want to tell you banyaji there are so many women that, that are being laid to get jobs very many if you wanted i would give you examples but of course you know you can't mm. so if, if that's a form of corruption people only think that corruption is about stealing money but if you know i'm competent i have the qualifications and i can do this job and you only want to have me in bed first that is corruption and secondly i want to say this and anyone who is interested can get details from me there are so many police posts in this country but specifically in the central region where when you go there and you're speaking with your the officers will go away they will not attend to you that is corruption at its highest so let's not focus at stealing mabati stealing money in billions but this small small but, but why should you go in Uganda speaking Gurunyango to a police station if I'm a Munyango why should I be but but Munyango is not the national language but yet, what i'm saying is yes. i'm working with you, you within a police post and we are talking eh? <laughs> like we are saying to our jazz the impunity is too much you give me services because i'm speaking Gurunyango <laughs> so that <laughs> is <laughs> too much and corruption is everywhere but i don't want to assume that everybody now, in this country is don't know Uganda i You're don't know english i don't know Kiswahili yes go back to where you came from what do you mean by that Oh, that is sad and corruption of the highest Thank you, the for and yes, finally, yes. finally, I want to thank you, And of course, we talked about the issue of reporting these corrupt uh, scandals, corruption scandals and whatever. But like my friend said, if you are not protecting these people who are willing to give information, then forget about being given that information. All right. Um, m- m- let me end with Mrs. Jerem Chisha. Thank you very much. It I is see. so sad, mm. Mr. Banyaji and listeners. You see, it is very sad when knowledgeable people you know, decide to, to, to behave the way we do, especially in the studios. Because now, if, if, if we want to, uh, you know, focus on oh, minor things mm, eh? mm. and leave the big ones, I don't know, do we use a microscope? Do we, anyway, what I want to find, uh, yeah, rather to end to with, yes. what I want to end with mm. is that uh, we should change guards. When a guard God. is a thief, when a guard you is want not a fundamental doing, change. When a guard is not doing his work well mm. and then thieves breaking from all corners, you change the guard. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to call upon all Ugandans mm. to wake up and change the guard. The guard has become bad, the guard has expired, the guard has become a, a thief. Let us change the guard and then we shall flourish in our country, Uganda. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Uh, we are left with you. about uh, mm. 3 minutes. Mm. Just to catch your yes and no answer. Hey, now you are, you are on on the element that of is DNA. also corruption. <laughs> hey, DNA, okay, DNA. Uh, it's because I want I want to make the listener know if you want to catch <laughs> this <laughs> topic, it's tomorrow in Nyanjo with John Tulinawe from midday to two. You will mm-hmm. have to listen into the conversation. Mm. But I I get you know it's been trickling in in the news that uh, men are taking their children at one day at the government lab. And all the so many businesses of DNA that have Men come are up. mad. Because it's now a lucrative <laughs> business. <laughs> Madam Jodi Mdisha. Why, child for why, why is your gender just getting men crazy about children? You see, while all these things are happening, of modernity, of exposure, this is social media, all these things are happening to us Ugandans, just like they are happening elsewhere in the world. So people have developed doubts. They are right to doubt, but they are also wrong because we have several proverbs in, in Runyankore mm. that, prote- that protect families. Number one, 
I am going to say it in Urinyankore, this one can translate. Yes. That is traditional accepted. You can resemble your neighbor's child and life goes on okay. as long as they are not antagonistic. Yes. yes. Number two. Yes. Number two. Yes. You know, so a woman traditionally is not married to one individual in the family. Is a wife to the whole family. To so whole if this clan. one, to the whole clan, if this one is, maybe is not delivering, then the neighbor, you know, the, the, the brother delivers, <laughs> the father would deliver, <laughs> and, and then, and then, and then and families and would be stable. Yes, thank you, I'm right? your and mind. would give up and would bring, uh, rather bring up is anyone very of stable you children. Willing to say now, something about why it? should yes. somebody... Our time is first why should somebody... <laughs> thank you, Jodem Chan. But that is killing family. Thank you, thank you Jody. Yes. Let me tell you, this is a very dangerous trend yes. of DNAs. And it is a very big threat to, 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 to a social unit called family. Families are going to break. But why aren't you implicating the women that no. are, are, are doing all this in no. this you are sleeping with men. Okay. My, my opinion on DNA. Yes. What are you saying? If you are DNA, obviously. Because, listen, <laughs> me, I'm talking from our tradition in a second up. yes bakaba tujira nyoko no akugambira sho so if your mother is saying is still, still alive what are you digging for men are digging for it's not the children let let them go and hang themselves at banjis is age kumujango waze kurundisha wenyu considering the age and respecting madame Joe, this should be the people advocating for this because one you are talking of families being stable but you forget morals there is a thing what of equality some people thought that equality especially women banyaji yes. i give you time banyaji some women thought that yeah. the word equality means because a man is having multiple partners i should also have multiple men so they don't even know who gets them pregnant and that's why but for yeah, me i advocate uh, for dna but my, 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 my difference is it should be first day of the child being born. So that we are sorting a picture of Thank you. Thank you, Sifa Safi. Thank you, Jorem Shah. Thank you, Asim Evangizi. Thank you, Bruce Wakunda. Thank you for all the calls. And thank you for all those that have been glued on radio listening to the big seat. Please, let's have some silence. My punchline this week, we lost a couple of people in accidents in this town here. I, in Barada here, they knocked down a lady who was carrying a child and the lady died. He, the Sino truck hit her head. My parting, uh, parting shot today is uh, please, people of border borders and all motorists, look out for the lives of our people. Let's respect traffic rules. We are otherwise going to kill so many. They are making uh, the Cham Gorani uh, Kubiri Road. The cars have already started driving at uh, 240 kilometers per hour. We are going to lose more lives. Please, Tweed Deco. Every life matters. My name is Wes Givanyaji. Let's meet up next week on the big set. I'll be uh, catching Yanji for the DNA conversation. We have news at the top of the hour. Tomorrow on the country show, uh, we shall be there. Have a fantastic weekend. God bless you. The views expressed on this program are not necessarily the views of this radio station or its management. This radio is regulated by Uganda Communications Corporation.